Hey guys, what's going on? It is Nick from Nick's Next, and today I have 10 really cool vintage lighters to show you, and some of them aren't exactly what they seem. So I'm going to be going over about the lighters, how they work, and other information on the lighters, and my personal thoughts on the lighters. So let's get started. Right, so the first lighter I have for you is this horse head lighter, and these are actually extremely common vintage lighters to find. You can find much larger ones, much smaller ones, so they're very easy. They're usually made out of a ceramic material. Now, what's interesting about this one, this one actually has the vintage price tag on it. That is $1.69 back, I'm going to assume this was made in the 70-ish era, and um, so that's actually a pretty cool note on it. And another thing, now what makes this horse head lighter a little bit more valuable than other ones is that it has this sticker on it. It says the Indian Museum, Tawas, Michigan. Now, to people in Michigan or who are from Tawas or who go to the Tawas area, this is going to be a little bit more sought after for them. But normally, if you see a horse head lighter like this at a garage sale, and if it's priced over $10, I probably wouldn't buy it. You can find these very easily and very cheap. The one thing, since these are made out of ceramic, you do want to check to make sure there is no um, cracks or chips in them. And it was actually funny, when I was cleaning this one for the video, I saw this and it kind of looks like a crack or a, like it was like scraped. So I was like, oh God. And I was like, I don't want to show a video, a lighter that's kind of messed up, but no, it's actually, that's part of the paint. So that was kind of interesting. Let's jump on to the second lighter. The second one is another animal lighter, and this one is a little lion. I thought this one was interesting because I've really never seen a lighter like this, especially with the color combinations that are on it. And this one also does have a price tag on it. I don't know if that one's original because this one says six fifty, so that could indicate that this is a newer lighter, like the eighty-ish era. So I'm not 100% sure. This one is made out of like the ceramic material as well. See, this one does have another number on the bottom. It looks like it says 459. So I'm not sure. And I don't know where Birmingham is. I don't know if that's the Birmingham Palace or not. So I'm kind of curious. Now, when you get these old ceramic lighters, it's common to see, see these little cracks right in here. That is common to see. It's crazy that happens when they're not stored properly. And a lot of my ceramic lighters do tend to have crazy on them. Now, this one is probably, honestly, one of my favorite and one of the cooler lighters I personally have. Okay, I don't know if I'd say one of the cooler ones, but I don't know. I just really like it. It's a little stove. Now, it's great. Okay, so you have your lighter at the top. I haven't really been showing that in the past. I haven't actually lit any of them, and the reason for that is all these are brand new. You see how this wick has never been lit? That actually adds to the value of the lighter. So it's a little dusty. I should have cleaned it a little better. But now, what's cool about this, now, if you were smoking a cigarette and it has an ashtray on the bottom, you stick your cigarette in there if you're just resting it or if you're putting it out, and then smoke will actually come out of the top. So that is actually really cool. So it looks like a stove that's actually working. All right, now I'm going to show you two here at once because these ones are made in the same place. Now, both of these are vintage um, Italian lighters. They Both of these were handmade in Italy, which is cool. Handmade, hand-painted, and these are made out of a ceramic material. If you were to feel them, they're very... Um, course, I guess you could say. Both of these are the same. They've Neither of them have been lit. Most of my lighters have never actually been lit, and I probably won't ever like them. Now, the reason I kept these lighters, surprisingly, even though they're made in Italy and everything, see on the bottom, that one's kind of faded out a little bit. On this one, you can see it really good, though. Again, with another price sticker on it, Frank's Nursery for $2.99. And now, the reason I haven't actually sold these lighters because I used to sell lighters a lot. I tend to more or less keep them now. The reason I hadn't gotten rid of these is you can find them online. They don't sell for very much money. So I figured I don't have very much into them. I'm like, why not keep them? They're kind of cool. This one reminds me of America, even though it's got yellow in there. Made in Italy, but yeah. So I was like, those are two really interesting lighters and I have quite a few of those. All right, here is another one. And this one is for, you know, when you want to be the captain of your own ship. So... And this is made out of chrome. Now, what's cool, this actually spins. And now, if you were to hold this, go like that, and boom, it lights. 
This one is a little dirty on the inside. That is from the flint. Gets a little corro corroded over the years, and I actually just haven't removed them out of all of my lighters. But no, so that this is why I absolutely love this lighter. You set this on the desk, nobody's gonna know this a lighter. Can you, if you were to walk up to that, would you assume that's a lighter? I most definitely would not. So you just flip that, and boom, you got a flame going up top if there were fluid and a, a new flint in it. So... That's really cool. All right, another one which kind of is on the similar aspect of a item that doesn't seem what it seems to be. This one is actually a golf cart, and it's gonna we oh, do they move? Oh yeah, they actually do move. I actually did not know that. And um, this was another really cool lighter I found in my collection. And like, if you hold it, this it even looks like it's got the little golf clubs at the top. So that's pretty cool. Now, how you light this one, this is a button right here. You press that, and boom, pops open, and then you'd have a flame, and you could light up your cigar on the golf course. That'd be um pretty fun time. Okay, now the next one, I mean, this one, you could basically say this is just, it's, it's a dagger. I mean, like, this was used back in the old days, like, after you were done, like, you know, using it. And then you just ask somebody, hey, do you need a light? And then like oh this one is actually stuck all right well i'm gonna keep this one in the video just because i think it's cool i thought i had i thought i grabbed the working one this one i haven't fixed yet the top is actually um it's stuck on there but usually it'd pop open in light and to be clear this is not actually a dagger this is a letter opener lighter so that is another interesting one i will have to find um my working one and um i will throw that in the next video Okay, the next one I have also comes in the original box. You can tell it's a little sun faded. This is from, I'm gonna assume, when people stick stickers on things at garage sales. Don't do that, that ruins stuff. Even these vintage lighters, even if it's chrome, it ruins it. Now the really cool thing about this one is you almost never see a black top on top of a lighter. So if you do that, I mean, I mean you could just paint it, but that does not look painted that looks like something from the factory so that is extremely cool and as you can tell that one has also not been lit and this one has you can see africa on there uh, what else is on here i think it just shows africa isn't it? i think it's a oh it's the ancient marie so it's like an old more old time map it's what it's supposed to be oh i think right there is supposed to be north america south america you can tell the the map's a little messed up i'm not actually sure if that was made off of a real map. That'd be actually pretty cool if it was. <clears throat> and I have the last lighter, probably one of my favorite lighters in my collection. For the last lighter, I have this amazing phone lighter. Now this one is absolutely an ungodly interesting lighter. And uh, I feel like if this were setting somewhere, especially if you were like with the younger people who haven't really seen phones like this, they might actually think, this is a real phone, so you could, like, pawn this off and be like, yeah, I just really like vintage phones. And they're gonna have no idea. But yet, to know when you pick it up, there isn't actually any phone thing. That's how you fill it up with fluid. And then what you do is just push, and then that would light the lighter. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. The down bottom doesn't actually have anything. So I feel like in the background, somebody wouldn't really notice. And what would be cool is if this actually did something, it doesn't do a thing. So I'm not exactly sure. I know some of the old phones had them, but I also don't know what it did. There is this little thing on the side here. I don't know what this was. For some reason, I think there was an ashtray attached to it at a point back in the day. But now here's the coolest part of the lighter. All right, so you have your lighter, but now exactly where do you put your cigarettes? So you know what? You just take this off. All right, that doesn't do anything. And then you pick that up. Now you have this amazing spot to put your cigarettes. You can kind of hide them. People aren't going to really think that this comes apart, so they wouldn't even know your cigarettes were in there. So that is absolutely one of the coolest lighters I think I have, and I'm Definitely gonna show you guys some more other cool lighters I have. All right, and that is the end of the 10 lighters in this video. I do plan on having more. I have a collection of lighters that is probably around 500 or so lighters, so I can definitely show you a lot of other interesting lighters, and I have some that are cooler than this, some that aren't as cool but are my favorite lighters, and I really just wanna show you guys my collection and other weird things I collect and or possibly sell. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe, subscribe, ah!